Hello, welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I'm Stephanie Stebbing, and if you've been watching these, you're probably expecting a tutorial, but that's not what this is. Uh, you might notice that the studio is a little bare, and it has been for the last couple of videos. It's because uh, I'm turning this into a kid's playroom. And so, yeah, I, I lost my sewing room. I had a big sewing room. It was our second bedroom. And when my daughter was born uh, six years ago, almost seven years ago now, I lost that. And now that our second daughter is here, uh, we are just are overrun with kid stuff. We had hoped to move this year, but COVID threw a wrench in those plans. And so we have to make do with our tiny little two bedroom house for a little bit longer. And we just need a place for the kids toys to be. So so we've been in this studio for six years and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the video set over to our shop because right now it's closed to the public because of COVID and our staff are working in an adjacent office space. They each have their own private office with the door to shut to keep everybody nice and safe. And so there's no one there, so I might as well take advantage. So we're gonna shoot a couple of videos as we get ready and set up the new space. I'm gonna use the shelves that we used to put fabric on. It's going to just be all my quilts. And I think I can fill like an entire wall we'll find out but we'll film that it should be fun and we'll go through the process of showing you like how I fold my quilts to fit in the shelving uh, the hutch is is going to still live on it's going to be at the shop but it's not going to be in the back of the videos anymore um, it's because you know we're gonna have some pretty quilts and I'll be able to switch out and, and have the fabric that I'm working with will be behind me and we can change it up a lot more often and have some fun with it well I thought though that one more thing that I should show you before we pull everything down and get it out of here is what it looks like behind the camera. And it's probably gonna be a little like, I don't know, it's behind the scenes and it might sh show how like low tech we've been. Uh, essentially, it's my backyard. And because you have to have filtered light when you film these, uh, you've got to cover it up. And I always meant to get curtains, but legitimately for six years, I've had packing paper taped up on my windows. There's, it filters the light out really well, but uh, it's, it, but it lets enough out in to be able to light and su supplement the lighting that we have for the YouTube videos. But, uh, but yeah, I've had ripped up packing paper on my windows for six years and I'm admitting that to you all now um, but we'll shoot a little bit of video as we clear it out and then as we bring in all the kids stuff so you can see what it looks like and thank you so much for watching me for those of you who have been watching me for that long we've learned a lot we've come a long way we've gained a lot of subscribers and we love that and we're very excited and to check out this new space and we're upgrading some equipment um, I know a lot of times the override camera can't show everything on the desk so I have a new thing that puts the over a camera way up high in the air so you're gonna be able to see everything and we're probably gonna be upgrading some lighting and a camera as well so that we can shoot in, in better high definition uh, for our overhead camera because that was the very first one I bought and it just doesn't always perform the best uh, that I want it to so Thanks so much for, for being with us and for joining us along here. We also are gonna have a link in the video description to a survey that we want you guys to fill out because we're planning our content schedule for 2021. And we wanna know what you guys are interested in learning about. Um, we wanna know what tutorials you want, what type of techniques you wanna learn, if you wanna do a quilt along, but we also wanna know what kind of behind the scenes stuff you might wanna see. Do you wanna see more of the baby? Do you wanna see our puppy jelly roll? Like, what do you wanna see? beyond the quilting do you want to do some you know live videos where you guys get to ask me questions um we we have that kind of stuff in the survey and if you fill it out then you're going to be entered to win a 50 dollars shopping spree at our website shop.quiltaddictsonomous.com so it's definitely worth doing because you could win some goodies so check that out fill it out and i'm going to show you some behind the scenes and then we're gonna tear this place down all right, so this is it. This is the behind the scenes. Uh, you can see that it is small. It is very, very small. My husband installed these shelves for me to put my UFOs on, and that didn't really help anything. Um, you can see I've got my studio lights here and <laughs> my ugly, ugly packing paper uh, all over the windows. And we've got one main camera that shoots me, 
and an overhead camera that shoots the desk and a side camera that gets the sewing machine. Uh, this also doubles as my personal fabric storage, so we're gonna have to find homes for all those things as well. Got a monitor on the floor, printer in the corner. Uh, my kid uses that for the uh, little photo studio there to shoot Lego videos. She's got her own channel. And it's just, it's small, it's tiny. We've outgrown it and it's hard to work in. So we're ready for something new and it'll be fun to see and take you along with it. Here is the final view of the room. Kids are playing it. I had a little bit of fun at the container store so that everything could have a nice home. Not that it's there, but in theory it could be. And it's in action. The baby loves pulling the stuff down and playing with it. Got a balloon? Got a balloon? Yeah. Yeah, you getting it? Mm -hmm. This was my kitchen set when I was little. We're going to have to paint that. This chair has been wonderful. Got all the kids' books in there. And this has been great for our Lego table. And we've managed to fit all the Christmas stuff in here so far. And get it out of our house. Our living room has actually stayed clean since we got this out here, which is the big thing. Well, thanks for watching and keep on subscribing so that way you can see us transform and get the new sewing studio and video studio ready at our shop. So thanks and happy quilting.